This morning's farm report is sponsored by LS Tractor. Start blue, stay blue. This year, make LS Tractor your all-season workhorse. From spring applications using LS tillers, box blades, rotary cutters and grapples, to winter applications utilizing LS snow blowers, blades and brooms. With this lineup, there's no job you can't do with LS Tractors and implements. Learn more at LSTractorUSA.com or check out your local LS dealer. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm glad to be here, and uh, thank you for tuning in. I'd like to share with you a few little ideas about farming and agriculture now, and I appreciate this opportunity every week. We very much appreciate the sponsorship of LS Tractor Company and uh, they are assembled uh, right here uh, in the Rocky Mount area in Nash County, up in the Gold Rock uh, uh, Industrial Park, and we congratulate and appreciate LS Tractor. Uh, the main article for today uh, has to do with uh, our managers, uh, uh, our farmers uh, employing uh, workers, and uh, the question is, are you the employer of choice? And uh, what I have here are eight tips uh, to attract and keep talent on the farm. Farms often grow revenue one of two ways. They expand or they change business models. In either case, you likely need to hire, train, and retain talented people to make business growth a success. As most farmers might agree, uh, doing so is not as simple as it sounds. Uh, in the Farm Futures National Survey uh, uh, conducted in March, 37% uh, of the readers said they faced challenges when hiring workers for their farm. Some 54% said they lost an employee and were unable to find a replacement. Farm operations face a number of headwinds, namely a limited labor pool with few farm experienced applicants as well as other competitive jobs nearby that uh, compete with uh, the jobs on the farm. So what's the secret uh, sauce to making your operation the employer of choice in your neighborhood? Uh, here's what farmers told us when we asked them to share uh, tips that uh, work for them. Uh, number one, encourage learning. Employees need more than just a paycheck. Uh, how can you help them develop as a professional with purpose? Uh, we try to foster growth in our people as they progress through their work life, says Brian Watkins, co-founder of Farm Software, uh, Farm Cropzilla, and co-owner of a grain and hog farm in Kenton, Ohio. We try to help them add skills and responsibility and become more capable over time. This means they become more valuable to both our business and to themselves. And this process needs to be flexible to match the goals and interests of the individual. Number two, support work-life balance. A big hurdle for row crop farming is finding people willing to work long hours in the spring and fall. But as the farm's leader, you need to understand what employees are willing to do for the sake of your farm's success. The decision to work fields all night, for example, comes down to who is involved, uh, says Jan Lehman, who farms 5,000 acres, no-till acres, uh, near Kenton, Ohio. All our employees are not family members, so you can't push people too hard, says Lehman, who usually calls everyone in when the sun goes down. Uh, he pays time and a half to employees who work over 40 hours per week and gives them the option to take it in comp time. Uh, some of our employees engage in tractor pulling and like uh, having some time or uh, extra time off, Lehman says. We just ask that they don't take it at all at busy times. We are also very flexible about uh, them making time to see their kids' activities like sports and school programs, he says. Watkins agrees with that approach. On the farm, it is sometimes difficult to maintain a healthy work-life balance, but we try to do so. Many of our team have young families 
and it is so important for them to be engaged parents. Number three, uh, throw in some extras. Pay and benefits must compete with nearby alternatives. Last year, Lehman added a simple IRA with up to a 3% match for his employees. Even so, farms often have extra benefits that no job at UPS can possibly compete with. Assets like recreational property, rental homes, or big toys, meaning equipment, make sure you describe those optional benefits to any new job applicant. We allow employees to use our equipment, such as a backhoe or dump truck, when someone has a big pro project to manage, Lehman says. Item four, define skin in the game. Uh, bonuses may help motivate people to go the extra mile, and having some level of own ownership in the farm's success can be important, but for many employees, just working for a paycheck at a business they like may be satisfaction enough. You need to figure out what they want and try to scratch that itch, as the old saying goes. When we do well financially, they do well, Watkins says. Their skin is they are proud of where they work, and they also like uh, who they work with. They want uh, the neighborhood to see them working here as a positive thing. If you get that right, then it takes care of a lot of things. Item five, don't uh, rule out a uh, non-farmer. Farms have trouble finding experienced candidates for a job, but is uh, that a deal breaker? Not for Rodney Rulon, who farms 7,000 no-till acres in Arcadia, Indiana with family members. He says one of the farm's brightest young partners has no farm background, although he does have a degree from Purdue and learned professional farm management uh, practices uh, while there. Uh, the executive program for agricultural producers was one program that he was exposed to. There are some advantages to not being from a farm, Rulon says. So often you find the most innovative and interesting people with the best ideas of first-generation farmers. I find people that have made more progress in 10 years doing it themselves than I have made in my whole life so far or in my whole career. Casey Bumberger, a partner at Bride Ag Enterprise in Washington Courthouse, Ohio, works on a farm operation with 33 full-time employees and eight family owner partners along with semi-retired grandparents. Not everyone thinks alike. Our minds don't work the same way, she says. Find out what people are good at and they will make you more successful. Put them in an area where they can bloom. Item six, communicate effectively. Uh, good communication drives any relationship, marriage, friendships, and business. Uh, just remember, everyone communicates differently Bumberger says. Uh, some farm managers put their team on a group text, others just use two-way radios, still others use tools like Ad Le Ag Leader during busy times to make sure everyone is on the same page. Likewise, establish limits for when it's time to shut down. Uh, Bamberger says her family tries to avoid talking about farm work around the dinner table but she and her father still text each other with work-related questions after work hours. Before cell phones, people didn't call your house at nine o'clock at night unless it was an emergency, she says. We have had to put uh, processes in place for our employees in the off season to try to be respectful of each other's family time because with cell phones, you never feel like you turn your work off. Don't be afraid to speak up and set boundaries unless it's an emergency. Item seven, share your farm's culture. Successful businesses have a culture defined as a set of shared values, goals, attitudes, and practices that characterize the organization. Job applicants are attracted to a business that knows where it's going and makes sure everyone on the team can proudly feel part of that success. Your farm shared values can go a long way in attracting talented people who embrace values similar to your own. We always want to have a positive 
culture of encouragement and optimism, Watkins says. If you have a reasonable approach to work, family, and life, and it's clear that taking time off for family is important, uh, we maintain that attitude with our employees. Of our seven full-time employees, six have kids in school. So our culture is we embrace family, and it's one way we retain good people. Uh, if the culture is good, we will keep people satisfied. Finally, item eight, uh, become a servant leader. Employees feel better about the business they work in if they see the leader act less like a boss and more like a mentor and coach. A servant leader is there to help others succeed, uh, not just fix mistakes. It's a change in mindset that can do wonders for attracting, keeping, and inspiring great talent on your farm. To learn more about servant leadership, um, there's a uh, document or there's a uh, article called Opinion Consultant, uh, David Cook's blog, Farm Future Servant Leadership, that can be accessed. They are just some ideas that can be uh, considered and implemented as time allows. We're in the midst of summer now, ladies and gentlemen, and um, many people look forward every year to growing a nice garden, and one of the most popular uh, vegetables in the garden is the tomato. And here's some tips on uh, growing good tomatoes and uh, getting the best out of them. Tomatoes are by far the most popular plant in the vegetable garden, but they can also be the most problematic. Eliminate the questions and begin the official summer season with proper tomato care. Weather insects and viral, fungal, and bacterial problems are all challenges every gardener faces when growing backyard tomatoes. Having an awareness of potential problems before they arise is one way to make sure the backyard tomatoes thrive. Uh, Mallory Kelly, an Alabama Cooperative Extension System Home uh, Grounds Gardens and Home Pest Regional Agent, uh, said there are many things to watch for when growing tomatoes to ensure a healthy crop. As the hot and humid summer starts up, Kelly provides the following tips to keep plants healthy. For instance, watering and mulch. When it comes to water, Kelly recommends starting with drip irrigation or hand watering only at the surface of the soil to avoid splashing. Then gardeners should prune off any of the tomato plant's lower limbs that are touching the soil and apply mulch. Mulching your tomatoes keeps the plant's moisture level consistent and will help prevent blossom and rot, Kelly said. Applying mulch also helps control weeds where insects like to overwinter and eliminates competition for the fertilizer you have applied. Mulch also creates a barrier between the plant leaves and the soil to suppress many of the fungal problems that come from the surface of the soil. Uh, scout for disease and insects. For diseases and insects, time is of the essence. Remove yellow and brown spotted leaves as soon as they appear. If a fungicide plan is not in place, start a fungicide application to prevent early blight. No tomato grower can avoid this problem, Kelly says. It's best to apply a preventative fungicide when the plants are healthy and there is no disease present. Products with the active ingredients chlorothalonil and mancozeb will control early blight. Kelly said copper is an option to control bacterial issues. It is best to scout daily for all of these problems as well as insects. Uh, go out and inspect for army worms, fruit worms, horn worms, and stink bugs, she says. These are the main insect problems on tomatoes. Products that contain Bacillus thuringiensis will work when the worms are young, but the BT product will not kill uh, any other bugs. Gardeners can also use products containing carbaryl to control larger worms. Kelly said carbaryl will eliminate a wide variety of insects it comes in contact with, even larger worms if they ingest enough of it. However, the damage has been done by the time worms are large, so treatment may not be necessary. Bifenthrin is another insecticide 
that will control stink bugs and some of the other pests gardeners may find. Don't wait until your plant has no more leaves before you start your search for the hornworm. Scout today because the plant may not be there tomorrow. These are just some uh, rule of thumb tips and uh, they can be, uh, you can be reminded of them or you can uh, be more thorough by contacting our local uh, cooperative extension office either in Nash or Edgecombe counties. So uh, those tips indeed will help uh, make your tomatoes more flavorful, luscious, and uh, something really enjoyable. As we go through the summertime, um, we uh, have to deal with uh, air conditioning. Uh, heat can be oppressive. And uh, this uh, little article here is not about farming per se, but it's about uh, how all of us can uh, hydrate and be uh, more comfortable during uh, these oppressive uh, dog days of summer. Uh, this is an article titled Air Conditioner Main Maintenance Tips. There's no denying the relief cool air provides when the temperatures outdoor doors are particularly steamy. In fact, having a place to cool off is a necessity for those who have succumbed to heat exhaustion or have difficulty regulating their body temperatures. Even though air conditioning can provide relief, some people are reluctant to turn it on because of the drain on electricity and the subsequent high energy bills that come with it. Certainly running the air conditioning can be costly, but regular maintenance helps the system to work more efficiently. It also enables homeowners to recognize issues that can lead to expensive repairs if left unchecked. Uh, here are some air conditioning maintenance tips to keep a system in top condition. Uh, change the filters. Dirty clogged filters can cause a system to work harder to cool down rooms, compromising efficiency. Uh, check the AVAC uh, system's manufacturer recommendation for how frequently to change filters. Some may benefit from monthly replacement if the air is running constantly. Uh, consider the uh, rating. The filter will have a minimum efficiency reporting value or MERV, that's an acronym, M-E-R-V, according to uh, this old house, which is uh, uh, one of the uh, sources we go to. That's the name of it. The higher the number, the better the filtration. But a higher MERV rating requires more energy to pull air through the filter. Therefore, choose a balance of filtration and energy cost retirements. Uh, maintain the outdoor unit. Clean the AC unit with a soft brush and uh, vacuum the fins at the start of the season. Check and repair leaks. Uh, airflow leaks through ductwork and with window AC units can reduce efficiency. Hold an incense stick or other smoldering item to check for leaks. Supplement with a whole house fan. Uh, the family handyman document, that is, or booklet, or publication, I guess is what I want to say, says an uh, attic mounted fan pushes hot air uh, out through the attic uh, and uh, draws cooler outside air through open windows and doors. Schedule a uh, annual maintenance. Uh, homeowners may be able to handle various maintenance tasks or they may have to have an HVAC technician come out and uh, do a certain amount of cleaning and inspections. But these are just a few rule of thumb uh, tips that will uh, prolong your air conditioner's uh, efficiency and use and uh, make things better. My time is up. I've enjoyed being with you. Thank you for tuning in. I look forward to being with you next week. Have a good week and God bless.